All right, so anyway, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> Guess we'll just have to find out together, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't done a recorded tutorial in a while. So I figured, I figured I would do that today. But I am going to be using some of my favorite products. So here we go. I'm going to prime my face because I want my foundation to look really bomb, basically. Um, I want my foundation to look as flawless as possible. If you don't use a primer, I would definitely, definitely recommend trying one out. I'm using this VFX Pro Strobe Primer. It's become my new favorite. I have some breakouts. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? What I'm gonna do since I do have some breakouts is I'm going to conceal those areas a little bit beforehand. And I saw this little trick. So do you guys have a TikTok? That's what it's called, right? I just made one. And I just made my first TikTok. But anyway, that thing is like a black hole. Like I could literally sit on there and watch different TikToks for hours. Like <laughs> hours it like sucks you in so basically this is a little trick that I saw on there I'm going to put concealer on those areas and then what she said was to wait like two minutes I'm pretty impatient so I'm probably not gonna wait two minutes but I'm gonna wait a little while okay so I waited enough time I'm over it um, so I waited for my concealer to sit here for a little bit and we'll see what happens here what I'm using for my face um, foundation wise is I'm mixing foundation so I'm gonna use the Il Maquillage in 020 and then I'm using my VFX Pro I don't know what color this is in I don't know actually but the reason why I'm mixing those, normally I would just use my VFX Pro because I like the way that it looks on the skin. But I'm mixing them because I don't have a tan and the VFX Pro I bought when I had a tan. And honestly, I don't even know if this is going to actually match my skin tone. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Nobody's going to see me anyway. Um, and I am going to apply this with a brush first. I'm going to be doing like stippling motions. I'm not going to rub too much because I kind of want to like pack it into the skin. Just because I like a little bit more full coverage with my foundation. If you don't want as much full coverage, you can kind of do wiping motions and that's not going to pack it down on the skin as much. But I like to have some full coverage and then I just bring it down on my neck here. And then I'm going to pack this foundation basically over that concealer that I put on those blemishes because I really want it to be full coverage right there. You feel? Okay, now that I have that applied with the brush, I'm going to go in and buff it in with my beauty blender just to even it out a little bit. I just like the way that the Beauty Blender makes the foundation look. It takes off any excess, so I just feel like it helps even out your foundation more. You're not gonna look cakey when you use a Beauty Blender. All right, I'm going to use my brow powder here for my eyebrows. Now, one thing you can do if you want is you can either spray your brush or you can spray the actual product with like setting spray and then apply it and that sometimes um, makes it a little bit easier to get like fine lines if you will and this brow powder makes your eyebrows look nice and natural it's just very easy to use I'm gonna prep my eyes with concealer and the reason why this is good to do, you can use concealer or you can use like an actual eye primer, is that it allows you to get a nice even base on your eye. And with concealer, it's going to cover up any like veins or anything 
that you have showing on your eyelid. I use a lighter concealer to do this so that if I use more vibrant colors, it'll be able to show through. If you use, especially if you have a darker skin tone, if you use a darker color concealer, your vibrant colors aren't gonna be able to show up as much as it would if you use a lighter color. I'm going to first start out with this shade here um, as basically like a transition color. Now when you do your eyes, you don't have to use a transition color. I just like to because it helps blend in any shadows that you're going to be putting up so there's not a harsh line. It just helps blend, does that make sense? It helps blend your shadows better. Now I'm just going to go in with a little bit darker color and put that right on top of that just to deepen the crease like a little bit more. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take, ooh, where'd it go? I'm going to take this pretty brown shade right here and I'm going to pack my brush with, oh, what is going on? I'm gonna pack my brush with it. Okay, I literally <laughs> wiped off this eye and started over because for some reason, I don't know, it just like did not go the way that I thought it was going to. So I basically am just packing on that brown shade into the outer corner here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this purple shade right here and I'm going to Pack that onto the outer corner as well, but I'm going to basically move it in a little bit so it's more toward the center of my eyelid. So it gets like a nice purple hue to it. All right, now I want to deepen the crease even more, so I'm going to take this dark brown shade here, and I'm going to take a little baby pencil brush like this, and I'm going to pack that into the crease, and almost make like a little triangle here. just so it has that nice look. So next what I want to do is I want to add some shimmer on my lid here. So I'm actually going to do like a brown shimmer. Um, I'm going to apply it first with my finger. Look how pretty that is. It's almost like a copper color. I'm going to take this shimmer um, pink here and I'm going to apply that right behind the copper shade. Kind of blend those together. Okay, so I went ahead and did the other eye. Um, now I'm going to apply my concealer here under my eyes. This is also going to help me highlight my under eyes, down my nose, oops, under my chin, my cupid's bow, blend that out. <laughs> now this concealer is nice and lightweight, although it is full coverage. Now what I've been liking to do lately is Instead of doing like a really harsh liquid wing eyeliner, I like to kind of do like a powder wing. And what I do for that is I just take like a regular black or brown shadow. Today I'm using black. And I'll just kind of make like a really nice soft wing with eyeshadow.
I just like the way that a wing makes your eye look more of a cat eye effect. It swoops it out, gives you a little bit of that foxy, seductive, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but you know what I mean. And to do that, I just use like an angled, uh, little tiny angled pencil brush here. Okay. And that just gives like a nice soft wing, adds a little bit extra spiciness to your look. Now we have some wings added to our eyes. Um, I am going to set my under eyes with my translucent powder that I always use. Um, now I'm going to do my contour blush and highlight and I'm going to do that with my favorite palette of all time. Oh my god, what is going on with my eye? I have something in my eye. I'm going to take my favorite palette here. I'm going to bronze up in this brush that I'm using. It's my two-sided brush. It's really nice for making your bronze or like contour super quick and easy. And actually what I'm going to use, and I probably should have done this before I put on my uh, bronzer, but here we are. Um, I'm going to use this terracotta porcelain powder and this is kind of like a setting powder that gives you like a nice shimmery glow. Blush and highlight. I'm going to wipe off that same brush that I was using and use it for blush still. And I like to focus it really just like on the apples here. Every time I put this highlight on, it's so unreal to me. That was like a lot. That was like a lot. The more the merrier, huh? <laughs> Whoa. I'm gonna put some highlight down my nose. I'm even gonna put some up here. Since I'm going to be applying lashes at the end of this, I am going to do like a thin coat of mascara. And then I'm gonna let that dry while I do my lips. I'm gonna do a nice nude lip today. I'm just gonna line the corners of my lips with this lip liner really quick and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply my favorite little nude here now a good trick for overlining your lips is to fill in the cupid's bow now if you want to clean up your lips. Say you've made a mistake on your lips or whatnot, you can take a little bit of concealer on your brush. Concealer is like a magic eraser for your face. You can take a little bit of concealer, that was maybe a little bit too much, and just clean up wherever you want to clean up. Oh, if you want to do like a little bit more of like a dramatic ombre on your lip, you can take a little bit of that concealer and put it right in the center of your lips and then dab it out. And that just gives you a little bit extra like poutiness, a little bit extra oomph. And to be honest, I'm not like a big matte lip person. I just like gloss for some reason. I just like gloss. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit of shimmer gloss here and I'm just going to add it mm, a little bit to the center. And this has a nice, like, sparkle to it. Alright, so I applied one side of my falsies. I think I actually put it too far out. But that's with falsies. This is without falsies. Alright, I reapplied that lash because I didn't like the way it looked. Um... Sometimes if it's too far out, it just looks unnatural. Because obviously these lashes are very natural looking. Look how long they are. Very natural looking. 
I pride myself in that. Just kidding. I'm not a natural bitch, okay? I like glam. That's what I like. That's what I like, is I like to be glam. Bitch. Okay. So the last thing I'm gonna do, I did decide. <sighs> My nose is running. I swear I don't do cocaine. <sighs> I don't. I'm ready. Yo, this is exhausting. Cause I just like cannot get my shit together 24 seven. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that really pretty, this color, it's like plum basically. And that's what I packed on to my lid. But I'm going to take a tiny little baby brush here and I'm going to put that onto the outer corner of my lower lash line. I feel like it adds a little extra something. <laughs> now I'm gonna add mascara down there and I will be done. Oh my god, it feels like it's taken forever. I think it's probably just because I messed up a whole lot of times. <laughs> so I've talked about this mascara before. It's called Zen. Shit's dope. Okay, the brush helps me get into my lower lash line really nicely. And it honestly really elongates my lashes. And that is what it says on the bottle. So I'm glad they didn't lie. Okay, aside from the fact that I did get it on my skin, look at that lower lash. Damn, she's got lashes. Look at the before and after, bro. Like, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. I'll be honest. I'm the worst at putting on mascara. I'm the worst at it. Um, this makes it easier because there's such tiny little baby bristles on it. Love when my lower lashes look so long. I love that. This mascara is no joke. I'm not kidding. This is only $8.90. <laughs> like, that's crazy to me. That is actually crazy to me. This shit's dope. If you're interested in it, you can shoot me a message and I'll tell you where you can go buy it. That's the finished look. I'm really upset about my skin breaking out. Like, why are you playing me? Why are you playing me like that? Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching my little tutorial. Um, this is today's glam. As always, obviously this was a little bit more than six steps to glam, but if you're interested in any of these products, hit me up. Um, I do sell some of them, like this favorite foundation right here. So, yeah. How let you girl. Okay. Okay, bye. I let you count my money, baby. Money. You want honey, so that mean you meet my standards, baby. I got a lot of